Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to start uh, AWS uh, Block Storage versus uh, Object Storage tutorial video. If my video is informative, please like the video and subscribe my channel. Let's start today's session. So, block storage and object storage. What is block storage and what is object storage? We have to know about that. First, we start about the block storage. Suppose this is our uh, uh, storage where we want to store all this data. So, basically, block storage is uh, suitable for transactional database where random read write are occurred and structured database storage it was a structured database storage so suppose we if we if we want suppose uh, 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 suppose this is my hard disk and we want to uh, write uh, on it by uh, one user second user third user and all are simultaneously worked on this database or the storage so that is only possible in block storage that's why block storage is a uh, suitable for transactional database and it is supported the structural database storage as well and uh, where random read write is occurred so suppose I have a data like uh, uh, suppose this is my folder or a file whatever you want I just give a name that is smart dot docx so this is my file and I want to store this file into my storage so suppose my this file size is amount approximately 10 MB and I want to store this file into this storage so in block storage what happened block storage divides this whole data divides this whole data to stored in evenly sized blocks means it divide the total data into evenly sized blocks or the data chunks so before it is stored it just split in every single blocks every equal blocks suppose like this suppose it just divide the data into several chunks and that chunks must be an even chunks my drawing is not so good you please adjust So it just divide the data into blocks. So this is my block number one. This is my two. This is my block number two. This is my block number three. This is my block number four. This is my block number five and so on. okay like this so these are the blocks and these blocks are stored over here so this is the way to store the data inside the storage but when it's stored it's just maintain a number which is called 
index number this index index number so index numbers are nothing but a uh, block when we divide the blocks is just uh, given a number that is called actually the index number it is like a serial number when the data is fetched from the hard disk so this sequence number or the index number is helped to arrange all those things serially okay and in block storage there is no metadata are available over here so what is metadata metadata is like uh, suppose um, this this is my file and the name of the file is smart.docx and the size of the file is 10 mb and the extension is docx and the information about the whole data are called metadata so metadata are not support in block storage means suppose we when we store this data block number 1 block 2 block 3 block 4 every block doesn't contain any kind of metadata but if you if you uh, if you um, know uh, if you tell about the whole data i can say there is a metadata is available for the whole data not even the every block it just maintain a metadata for this smart.docx total file so so the block storage only keeps the address or the index number where the data blocks are stored into the hard disk when it fetch the smart.docx from hard disk it just collaborate all the blocks by it sequence number and when it is stored into the uh, into the uh, hard disk it does not care where it is stored okay it might be stored over here it might be stored over here it might be stored over here it, it might, means it does not care about that when it is retrieve it just retrieve by it sequence number or the index number or you can can say the address of the data blocks of the data so this is the all about of block storage and now i come to the next uh, storage types that is object storage so suppose i have a uh, i have a pen so that is an object you know so object storage store file as a whole and does not divide them suppose i have the same file like this suppose i have the same file like this and i am i want to store this file into the hard disk so object storage store the whole file and does not divide like the block storage it just store this whole file into the storage in object storage object is the file or the data itself it has the metadata as well as the guid so here object is
file as well as its store metadata as well as the GUID of that object so so file is an object and the metadata Meta -meta, metadata you already told that the informations of the object or the data is called metadata like suppose uh, I have a file like uh, like this I just go to the this PC click on the free dive or just click on the pictures I just go to the properties here you can see the location of the store where it is stored the size of the uh, file or the folder the size of the file and folder the contents how many files and folder this total is called the metadata the information of that object is called metadata as well as there is used a GUID GUID full form is a globally unique identifier the object of global unique ID but or GUID is a unique identifier for the object and it must be unique in your computer and it also contain the location of the object into the hard disk so this is your GUID and here the GUID and the metadata also called an object here this is a file object uh, file is also an object as well as the metadata and GUID also an object so inside the hard disk when we save this file into my hard disk it just store file itself just store the file store the metadata and store the GUID am I clear so here I just repeat once again the object which is stored into the hard disk that is a file the whole file it is an object it does not divide into chunks or a block it does not contain any serial number or an index number in block storage there are indexing is occurred but in uh, uh, object storage there is no indexing in object storage there is a file itself a data there is a metadata metadata and global unique ID it is also an object and the global unique ID is uh, uh, for the object can be the object name itself and it must be the unique and it is also contain the where the physical location where the file is to be retrieved when it is called so object storage cannot be mount into uh, or the uh, or uh, cannot be mount as like a drive the example of object storage is uh, dropbox aws the example of object storage is Dropbox AWS eh, sorry Dropbox S3 Amazon S3 Google Drive these all are this all are the example of object storage in object storage we cannot mount as a drive into my system or the uh, or the virtual machine instances it is just only accessible via web portal all over the world and the block storage example is uh, we can say EBS elastic block storage 
sorry EBS elastic block storage so elastic block storage is only accessible with a EC2 instance we can assign a EBS storage or a EBS volume into the instance okay it just show as a drive but these all are not shown as a drive this is only accessible via web console so this is all about the differences between the block storage and object storage if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe the channel see you on my next video